Welcome back everybody to another Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Today, join me as we take a look at the capital vessel, Razor. Today's design is called the Razor, or if you want to find it on the Workshop, it will be listed as CV underscore Razor. It comes to us from creator Foxes. And this design is made to replicate the Razor ship from the game Star Conflict. The Razor clocks in as a 7.5 class vessel, which rounds it down to 7, and an unlock level 25. This is a very unique design and very impressive that the creator was able to pull it off as well as they did. So let's go ahead, dive in, and take a look at it. Approaching from the back of the ship, you will enter into the little ring area. And inside the middle of the ring is an enclosure where you have your warp drive. Towards the middle of the ship, there is a ramp leading into a door that takes you inside the ship. In this room, you will find a medic station and an O2 station, as well as two doors on either side. These doors will lead you up into the main elevator shafts, which take you up to the different levels of the ship. Our first level, we come up to a repair station, two closets, and two armor lockers, along with additional doors on each side. Now this ship is identical between both sides of it, so I'm only going to show you one side. Just understand the other side of the ship is identical, except it is reversed from this. So entering into this area, we are in the first hangar section. We have access to another elevator. We have a door that leads back into a sort of maintenance kind of access area where you have ammo boxes and you get to see some of your RCS and other elements of what makes the ship function. Moving into the main area of the hangar bay, we will find on the right a shutter door that opens up for an O2 station and a cargo box. You will also find shutter door that opens to the outside of the ship and gives you a nice little place to come out of to launch your SVs or even your hover vessels. Now you might think this would be difficult to get a hover vessel up and you were right. At one point the designer did add new ramps on the wings to allow for you to get your hover vessels up a little bit more readily. At the end of the hangar bay there is a door that leads into the same hallway you can access from the shutter door. In this hallway you will find two advanced constructors along the side as well as two cargo boxes. And at the end, you will find a door that leads into a forge section, which is residential. Now this section is unfurnished with no restroom, amenities, and no furniture to speak of, allowing you full customization of how you want it to look. Returning to the hangar bay, at the back we can either take the new elevator or we could go back to the original elevators we had in the other room. Taking the other elevators, you will come up and find your core, which can be considered somewhat protected, as well as the other elevator that leads into the same room. In the back corner, you will find power storage, as well as other functionality aspects of the ship. Returning to the section with the core, we can now enter through this doorway and find our food growing area with a large number of grow plots as well as a food processor, two fridges, and of course a tank for decoration. Now as I said, this is identical on the other side of the ship as well, so you will have two large sections of grow plots to produce plenty of food. You will also find in this room O2 tanks placed along the ceiling. At the end of this room we come to another door which leads into a long corridor. And along this corridor are identical rooms to the level below, another residential section, living quarters which are completely unfurnished. Coming back out of the growing plot area, let's go ahead and take the other elevator we found and come up to the next level which gives us a sort of med bay recovery area. We have another medic station as well as some body scanners for removing certain ailments. At the back of the room we have a door that leads into an unused area which you can hear the generators running. So to me, this means that the designer decided to cover up the generators so they weren't completely visible. And this is what we have instead. So you can feel free to use this room for some customization. In the previous levels, there was a door at the front of the room. But in this case, all we have is a glass window looking out over the food processing area. But at the side, we have a door that leads into the actual piloting area as well as come to top the other elevators which you will find on each side of this room. 
Now, as I said, this ship has been modified to allow for hover vessels to be docked on it as well. And you can see even the larger ones can have a little trouble getting up to the ramps. However, once you get onto the ramp, you should have no problems getting your hover vessel up and into the ship. As I said, the Razor is a size class 7 unlock level 25 ship. The ship comes with 22 fuel tanks, which at maximum capacity will carry about 119,000 fuel, providing you with thrusters and engines off about 154 hours of usage. The ship will also hold nearly 12,000 oxygen spread across 6 oxygen tanks with 5 ventilators and 3 oxygen stations. There are also 3 medic stations total through the ship. When it comes to attack and defense capabilities, this ship is fully loaded. It comes with the maximum allowance for every single turret type except for the multi turrets and drill turrets. And it comes with 6 pulse lasers and 4 rocket launchers in addition to the large complement of turrets. If you plan to use the ship, I recommend that you do some adjusting with the cargo setup because it only contains a total of 8 cargo boxes and 10 ammo boxes. There are 4 fridges, 2 food processors, and 4 advanced constructors total. If you plan to build the ship, be prepared to do a lot of harvesting. Most notably, the ship will require nearly 29,000 iron, 46,000 sathium, and 12,000 neodymium. It will also require over 4,200 arrestrum and zascosium to build, so be prepared to do a lot of mining. Overall, this is a fantastic looking ship regardless of how well it mimics the design of the Razor from Star Conflict. Because of its very colorful exterior, it gets away from that drab look you'll find some ships having. I am also impressed at how well they made the back section of the ship work with the ring section and the middle piece separated from it. As far as functionality goes, this is a very well built ship, very capable ship. The only thing I don't like is how difficult it might be for some of your hover vessels to get up those ramps and into the hangar bays. If you're planning to use this vessel in your own game, I would suggest possibly replacing the ramps with larger, thicker ramps or just focusing on using small vessels instead. Again, this is the CV underscore Razor by Foxes. I will have a link in the description below to the same workshop page where you can pick it up. If you try this ship out and you like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up for the designer on the workshop page. Well, that concludes my look today at the Razor Capital Vessel for Imperium Galactic Survival. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you have not already done so, so you keep up with my content during the week. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the ship. If you have any recommendations, maybe the creator will see it and implement them for future release. You can also feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know if there is a ship design you would like to see me take a look at in my workshop showcase series. Well, I am your host, Mr. Spicy, as always. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.